Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon to subscribe to our channel. We get to have a unicorn party for every hundred new subscribers we get. Here we go. Welcome to Nancy Drew Codes and Clues. Let's press play. And we're at trouble at the tech fair. Oh no, no treats for Gustav. Let's go and see. Bess, George, you won't believe it. What? What is it? We're going to the tech fair. Our robot puppy is a finalist. I knew we could do it. But we need to name our robot puppy first. Okay. So, the robot puppy is going to be called Robopup. That's original. So, <laughs> let's go with that. That's a great name. Let's go to the tech fair. All right. Let's start our adventure. Let's go and see. We're representing River Heights, so we want to look our best. Choose an outfit for each girl. Okay. Ooh, quite like her in blue. Nancy. Quite like Nancy in there. And quite like her as she is, to be honest. Oh, I like that. Right, George is like that. Let's go. We're ready. Tech fair, here we come. A meeting of minds. This school is amazing. I agree, George. Look, here's our table. Hi, I'm Alexa. Are you from River Heights? We're tech fair neighbors. My table is here. Ooh, what's under that cloth? Oh, the floor is all sticky. That's not good. Ew, it is. You guys are setting up already? Uh-oh, I'm way behind. Hey, did someone spill something on my table? Hmm. It looks like someone used your table as a snack station. There are sugar cubes and water everywhere. Uh, yeah, a snack station. I think you're right. That's Tommy Rojas. He won last year. I'm excited to have my table right next to his because I'm going to win this year. My project is an awesome dog biscuit delivery machine. Wow, sounds awesome. Maybe your biscuit machine can feed our project a robot puppy. Oh, my project has a great name, the Gustav Project. I named it after my real dog. The Gustav Project? <gasps> can we see it? Here, take a look. The cover for my project is all wet and sticky. My project isn't here. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Alexa. We'll find it. I'm Nancy Drew, and there are plenty of clues here. Yes. Yes, we're detectives. Uh -huh. Let's look for clues. Okay. Find the objects below. Right, so we need... Uh, whatever that is. Hmm, what are we going to do with these? There's an overdue notice and uh, uh, there's lots of things. I can see, can we make it bigger? We can. I think I just tapped one. There's the volcano. Uh, what else can you see? Do we need anything from this table? Yes, a, a, a magnet. And whatever that is. And we need a bottle and there's a bottle. And down here we might need, hmm, what else can you see? I can see an overdue notice and that interesting helixy thing. There it is. It's a sign. And where's the overdue notice? Where's that? There it is. Good stuff. These are the clues to help us find Alexa's missing project. Let's keep track of them and our suspects in our clue book. Okay. So we'll put them here. Overdue notice. An overdue book about horses. Hmm. And whatever this is. Strange. Hay and grain in the gym? That is strange. And what was this? Sugar cubes? Was Tommy's table really a snack station? Hmm. And a water bottle? Who left this sports drink bottle behind? Not a bit tricky one. And what is this? A Susie. A, a horse. horse named Susie Q. How do they know that's a horse? Hmm. Okay. 
There's our suspect one, and there are sugar cubes here next to there. Clues and Robo Pup is over here. Okay, let's go and see what's next. It looks like our first stop is the library. There's bound to be a clue there about this overdue book. Mm -hmm. And who's kept it so long? Follow me to the library. All right, off to Harrington Prep Library. Reading into the mystery. Feed and caring for horses. Hmm. Whoever dropped this overdue notice must have been in a hurry to clean up that mess in the gym. We need to discover who checked out this overdue book. A book about horses could be anybody at this school. Because they have stables! Did you notice how nervous Tommy looked? It was clear he didn't expect to see anyone there. He's suspicious. I can tell just by the way he ran off. Let's investigate. All right, we're finding things in the library. Hmm, what we got here are outlines this time. That's a bit trickier. I can see the cat face. That's over here. And there's just a box. And this interesting looking thing that looks like it might be castle book. And, uh, hmm, don't know what that is. And there's a mirror or a magnifying glass maybe. And there's a strip of paper and some more things that I can't see yet. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some some stuff up here. Uh, maybe I can't see. I can't see them. I need this. What's that? Let's have a clue. Oh no, that's not the clues. Uh, maybe it's a light note. Oh, it'll be one of these little alley things. And whatever this downward strip looking thing is. And whatever that is on the end. There it is. But where's the downward strip looking thing? Uh, I just don't know. I can't see it anywhere. I need a hint. There it is. Well, that was tricky. So let's find out what they are. Let's review the clues we found. Okay, so whatever that is. These numbers look like a combination to a lock. Ooh, that's tricky. And... This is a part of my project. Well, that's not good if your project's been broken apart. And... Apart from the Gustav project. Another one. Okay, wood part. Block part. Oh, some more clues. All right, we're not up to that yet, so let me see. That old locker in the back has a lock. They say it belonged to old man Harrington. Maybe this combination will open it. Let's see old man Harrington's locker. A look into the past. Oh, more things to find. Okay, so that thing. And this thing. Oh, I thought that was this thing. Oh! And poor little rabbit. There's some very cute things in here. What else is down here? Uh, whoop, hold on. And I've got one more to find, which is that pick. Oh, there it is down there. All right. So we've got this. Another part of my project. Oh, dear. And books. Horse books? And engineering books? Hmm. That's strange. Yes, who would put horse books and engineering books together? Why is Waverly Meadows' website written here? Oh, so many clues. Well, I tell you what, if you want to see the next part of this mystery, you're going to have to leave me a note on the bottom, a, a message, a comment at the bottom of the video as a clue to let me know that you would like to see some more. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.